I told you, I can't afford to not record. We back, man. English majors, we live. Right here in the headquarters. You know what it is, we reporting live. English majors, I'm in the office, you know what time it is, man. We starting it off right. You see it, man. You see it, this is the money episode. This is the big money episode, man. This is the money, Where, get you some money, man. Get you some money. That's your money. Don't take nobody else's money. Oh, this is the last episode I'm doing for now. <laughs> or for today. I'll tell you that much. We'll get some more. We'll get back in here. But uh, yeah, this is the season finale, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me on the English Majors journey, man. Going with me on this ride that has been, uh, I couldn't have did it without y'all, man. I appreciate everybody out there. All the English Majors, all the 85 percenters. Everybody that might watch this in passing, if you shared it with somebody, we appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got something for you. It's not money. It is not money. We don't have that for you. But we have gratitude. We so grateful. That's sometimes that's better than money, man. Sometimes you need the gratefulness to penetrate. Pause. That's what Diddy got in trouble for, grateful penetration. That's what they be called. That's, that's, that's what yoga really is. Don't, don't fall for that shit. Hot yoga, it don't need to be hot. That's an excuse. All right, look, money. Where we at? You got it or you don't. You need it. You need money. It's the root of all evil. That's what people say. And I mean, it probably is. It probably is. Is anybody, what, what else is people doing evil shit for? Pride? Attention? They doing evil shit for attention? That's real evil. Because nobody benefits. Aha! <laughs> Look at what I did. You didn't get a check for that. That's crazy. That's scary. That's the scary part, man. It was scary before when people was doing stuff for money, but... Now the people not even, they don't even care about the money. Get you some money because it's too expensive to be poor, dog. You, it costs more to be poor than to get some money. Being poor will fuck you up. Think about all the shit you got to pay for if you're poor. What if some shit go wrong? Then you got to get a payday loan. You know how fucked up those shits are? Once you get a payday loan, you're supposed to leave town. Everybody know that. This is my runaway money. I fucked up in this city. Off to the next one. That's what you, hey, buy here, pay here lots? Being poor will fuck you up. It's motherfuckers that owe $18,000 on a 2003 Intrepid. You know how fucked up that is? And then you wonder why them cars involved in crimes. He's trying to get his money back. He, oh, listen. Money, it makes the world go round. I can only speak from the side of not having money because I didn't had no money more than I've had money. And now that I got money, hey man, I fuck with them Republicans a little bit because I don't pay them. them taxes. Come on, man. Why the fuck you get some? I just got it. I'm supposed to help everybody. No. Nah. I, let me get my money up. Let me get to a billion, then so I can not do shit for society also. Why the billionaires? Let them, let them kick in. Told y'all. It's the money episode. Let's go. Money. Don't ask me for none. <laughs> you know, that's my slogan right there, baby. Don't ask me for none. For real, man, look, we gonna start Jeff once again. Beautiful. Great work, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't see, do you see? Fuck that, y'all gonna respect this shit, man. You saw him do it on a time lapse? I hope that video worked. <laughs> but the time lapse, he, he do this, and it's quick. It's fast, it's quicker than, it, than, it's almost as quick as they, they don't speed it up that much. It ain't even speed it up that much. They speed it up like two times, like one, that, that, like clack, clack, and that's it. It ain't like they gotta do it a lot. So let's let's do it, man. Card versus cash. Come on, man. That's the big debate. They talking about getting rid of cash. We black people gonna want some cash. 
I don't know what it is. We just need it for emergency purposes. I don't know why. Can, is it because we don't all the way, all the way trust the, the, the bank? And, and, and then you know what? Yeah, because if some shit go down, Cash App went crazy, right? It's a lot of people. And they taxing on the Cash App, right? Taxes. I got, man, let me call these people. <laughs> no, for real. You, <laughs> if you hadn't, you better call your people. Yo, ass, don't. That, that's how we get fucked up. Black people, we get fucked up with the taxes, man. Because there's always somebody to swear they can do them. But then they don't do them. Why didn't they do them wrong? And now it's on your ass. I don't even, I just, hey. I pay them people something. Sometimes they'll send you some shit back. I said, all right, that, all right, I respect it. I respect it. Send me some of my bread back, man. They say, really, you don't want to get a tax return. That means you, you could have kept all your money throughout the year. You gave them too much. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. I don't work for Liberty Tax. How much do motherfuckers get paid in the sign to spend that sign? How much sign flippers make, man? They don't make nothing. They be out there in all type of weather, man. That's a weird weather time. That's spring. It could be anything. A rainstorm. It could be hot as the fuck. Windy than a bitch. If that reminds you to do your taxes, you probably ain't finna get a lot of money back. <laughs> Buddy flipping the sign, you be like, shit, that, what the fuck? He pull over. Can you do him right now? He take off the little Statue of Liberty outfit. I got you, my boy. Let's go inside. Fill out this paperwork. Come on, man. Make sure you pay them shits, though. That's part of it, man. Card versus cash. I, I, I like to keep a little cash. I ain't got a lot of cash on me, but I'm that card. I'm the, I'm the card, dude. I told you, it's expensive to be poor, man. Overdraft? They, they, they found that unconstitutional. They did. They did some law research, and they said, man, no. No, you can't, you can't make a motherfucker spend money they don't have and then charge them for this shit. Cut me off. When I don't have it, that's it, baby. We done. I, I, that, that, ain't nothing wrong with that noise. Everybody worried about being embarrassed. At me. I, don't, don't let me pay for the shit. Then I owe another 35 on top every time something hit that bitch. I didn't need that Gatorade that bad. I owe $47 because I wanted the Gatorade. I could have waited till I got to the house, bro. It costs a lot to be broke. Get you some money, legally, the best way you can. I don't want to see nobody in jail. Go to jail, bro. You might got to stay. You know broke motherfuckers, they get in jail and they just go to sleep. They get comfortable immediately. I can't change out. No, wait till you process. That's what happened, cash bond. That's what keep black people in jail. Sometimes it don't even be that much. You got motherfuckers doing months for $200. That's what happened to Khalid Browder. That's fucked up. Put that man in solitary. Broke his mind. Fucked up out here. It ain't easy. Reparation. Yeah, we need them. Why? Can I hear the arguments why not, first of all? Why? That was so long ago. We don't, it don't matter. What, what is your argument again? Because white people got reparations. White people never got reparations. Yes, y'all did. When they got rid of slavery, they paid all the slave owners for the slaves that they lost. So you tell me how that worked, man. We done had to pay Japanese people. We done had to pay all types of people reparations. So what make us different? And come on, let us fuck that economy up. Let us get that shit going. We'll be booming. I tell us, you give it to us, it's coming back at you. We finna buy some shit now. Be prepared. Be prepared. We gonna hire, we gonna hire, well, Juneteenth gonna be different. We gonna reverse them roles. We gonna have, yeah. Cotton picking contest. We bring you. Bring your best white boy. I got a white boy that can 
pick cotton faster than you can goddamn grow it. And you let him go. <laughs> go get it, Trevor. Come on, Trevor. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get my ass. They going to cancel me. No, but for real. Let us get them reparations. We need it. I think it's old. I don't think they ever going to give it to us, because that'll be too much like right. But they done did so many wrongs. We're not just looking at it. I think people look at it just for slavery. Like, you know, you got to look at when we weren't able to get land grants and we weren't given, you know what I'm saying, government funding that was set aside that restricted black people from being able to get it. A lot of people started their homes like that. A lot of people started their families like that. You know, that was the first house they owned was due, you know, one of the GI bills. And they weren't giving that to black people that went and fought in the same war. So, hey, man. If we being real, it's just what it is. I don't think, I don't, we probably not gonna get it. But I can say black people, we do seem to be up. We might not have it, but we look it. We be stunting, we be having that shit on now. I will say that. But why you got that shit on? Make sure you got that shit in your goddamn account. Crypto, I don't know, I missed the wave. I didn't get no Bitcoin. I tried to buy the cheap shit. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can't get the big, the Bitcoin was too high by the time I found out about it. You know what I'm saying? I missed the wave. I was talking about it was high when it was cheap. $68? <laughs> she where the fuck I'm going to get $68? <laughs> but motherfucker spent $68 on one hookah at the club. All right. I got the cheap shit. What I got? Ethereal? Some other shit? It was other. I'm, I ain't get the dog, the dog coin. Motherfuckers just be doing anything, man. Come on, man. All that get rich quick. Some of this shit working out great. Great. But some of this shit don't sound right. The stock shit. Shout out to all the. Uh, what, what's, what's my people's name, man? Earn your leisure. My dude Ian with the red pen, Wall Street Trapper, all them do the stock shit. I just do the Warren Buffett shit of I get some stocks of the shit I rock with. And I let them sit. I ain't got, I ain't got time to be trading like that. I've done all right so far. I get shit that I think ain't going nowhere. The next few years, can I see a future without that shit? And that's the shit I learned from now. The shit I learned from just reading up on shit. And yeah, Apple, yeah, I got some. I guess so. I got an Apple phone. Why would I not get some? If you buy the shit, go get the shit. That's my take on it. Who knows? Stay away from the get rich quick. Ain't no getting rich quick. You got to work. Then you can get rich. You want to get rich quick? Work real hard. What the fuck it take? Anytime a motherfucker come to you with some shit about get, all the scamming shit, what's that, the Forex? Come on, man. NFTs, what they worth now? Remember that? Motherfuckers were paying for pictures. This is a JPEG. Who? Okay. I think at certain points in every era where people just at their stupidest, and if you can hit them while they at their stupidest, you can sell it. I think it's something to do with, it's got to be Mercury retrograde, something. Something in people's body make their ass dumb than a bitch, and they fall for some shit every about 15 years. What's the last shit motherfuckers was doing? The green dot? Go in Walmart, get your ass arrested. Trying to... <laughs> Wire fraud, all type of fraudulent activity, man. Shout out to Costco. You can buy gold bars. You can buy gold bars from Costco online when they got them. I didn't believe it myself till I pulled it up. I don't know the price. They just the going price of whatever gold bars cost. 
And we ain't got the gold standard for money no more. So, yeah, I think black people, if we wanted to, we could upset the whole economy. Because you know the bank don't have the money. And we the only motherfuckers that, that'll withdraw all our money because we get mad at the bank teller. You know what? I go to another bank. Give me all my shit now. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested for trying to rob the bank. They're not letting you have that shit because they ain't got the shit. Credit cards. Did a black man invent the credit card or am I making that up? That sounds like some shit we do, though. Bro, I got you. Let me get it now. I'm going to come back tomorrow with... Uh, and then when you see him again, hey, man, what, hey man, look, you ain't going to keep pestering me about no funky-ass hamburger. <laughs> Early credit was responsible for many deaths, man. I got your little funky 15 cents. Shit used to cost cents. I ain't even do that with the reparation. We got a fact that, oh, man. We didn't even scale that shit up. What y'all making, another sign? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we break the third wall here. This shit ain't real. <laughs> also, however you go hustle, um, you can listen to the internet people, but I'm not one of them internet people that's gonna tell you, you know, go get seven streams of income. Uh, seven streams ain't shit if you ain't making money on each of them. Focus. Get one good thing. That's really how this shit work, man. Comedy is my avenue for everything else that I do. Don't restrict yourself to what you're just doing. If you do music, guess what? You a songwriter, too, if it requires the right element. You just might not have stepped into it yet. So stay alert. You could do the seven inch streams. It might not be a stream. It might be a creek. It might be a slow trickle. But if you got your main waterway, hey, man, other stuff can flow into that. But focus on something that's going to get you where you want to be and what you good at and work towards shit. That's the best advice I could give you, man. That's the best advice I could give you. When I didn't have money, hey, I made decisions. You got to, you got to, hey, what's my overhead? How long can I eat tuna? You eat tuna till the cat start chasing you. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when cats start chasing you, ease, ease up. Ease up, get your little bologna sandwich, peanut butter and jelly, switch up your diet. But sometimes you got to sacrifice. Y'all be trying to eat out every night, dog. That's $60. You get anything brought to you, $60. Ultimately. Because you got to tip them. We got to tip everybody. God damn, you didn't do nothing, Chick-fil-A lady. You just stood outside. I didn't tell you to stand outside. We tipping everybody? This place's tips never popped up before. Gas station. I'm at QT. Would you like to leave a tip? No. Since when did y'all get tips? Used to be you couldn't even tip them people at Publix. Remember the people that take your little shit to the car? Oh, no, we can't accept. Man, take this little money, man. No, they ain't paying you shit. It always be the ones that's got a little, you know, they be a little slow, too. And they be, they, you know, they on the company time. No, they can't. They'll fire me. If, no, I'm like, bro, relax. Ain't nobody. Just here. Can you say slow? You can still. People be slow sometimes. I'm, I'm slow in certain aspects. Right? Don't agree with that shit. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't know why I come to the internet. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all just gonna put. Listen, I told you. I shared that story with y'all. On previous episode, if you hadn't heard it, go back and listen. I think I did. But hey, like I said, one more thing. How we still doing shit with pawn shop? Who's shopping there, though? I ain't going to lie. I go in pawn shops just to see what they have in there sometimes if I'm in a different city. But I don't know who shop there regularly other than people that do meth that 
you coming back to get it. This is the first Xbox. You not coming back to get this. <laughs> Some shit just so old, it ain't even nostalgic. It's just fucked up. No, nah, don't nobody want that. An old Nintendo? Yeah, people want that for nostalgia purposes. Nobody really want a PlayStation 3. <laughs> Damn, that's... All right. Oh, that's, that's the other thing. Put your money where your mouth is. Get some money and invest in you. Whatever that look like. You want to be an actor, don't stop taking lessons. You want to be a pilot? Get, get, hey, I don't know. How you start that? Go take a class at the technical college. <laughs> start on the computer. Work your way up. That's what I'm saying. If money the root of all evil, then everybody got to be evil by default. You got to be evil just to be good. You got to be evil to tithe. Ain't that a bitch? Am I wrong? If money the root of all evil... <laughs> oh, so that's how they change it. That's how the pastor get away with it. The love of money. So the pastor, he don't love money. I just need a lot of y'alls. I need a lot of y'alls money. Around. Let me watch over the money. I'm a shepherd. Now, I don't want y'all to think y'all the sheep. The money the sheep. I watch the money. That's crazy. What you, if you say it right, if you say it right, you can convince people, man. Because they be getting what? And they get mad when you ask them about it. They ask one buddy about the jet. That white man started looking evil. What's his name? Kenneth Copeland. See, that's the problem <laughs> right there. God wants me to fly. I don't know about the same. I'm like, damn, man, you. God don't. The Lord ain't say nothing about no jet. What E40 said. He had a chariot. Imagine all the Hebrews and Christians. <laughs> well, you can have a little car, but you ain't supposed to have it. Hey. Rich people be making excuses. Shouldn't all the all this shit like if we need money for the shit, tax them motherfuckers. All that money I send to Amazon, let them fix the road, Jeff Bezos. You the one fucking it up with them Mercedes trucks. Them Mercedes trucks ain't supposed to be coming down these little raggedy ass streets. You to knock people's mirrors off. So a motherfucker can get a pair of jeans fast. I need these jeans by Wednesday. Who the fuck need jeans immediately? I got some shit. I need, I need them jeans quick. How fast can you get them? <laughs> you can get everything fast now. We don't have to tip the Amazon person. That's one good thing, right? Do they make money? I hope they do. Damn, that's the other thing. This whole gig economy, man. It's people not making money, man. The Uber driver, if one more Uber driver complain, I'm, that's why I put my shit on silence now. Don't say shit to me. Because they love to tell you, you know, I ain't getting nothing off this trip. Hey, man, it ain't my fault. <laughs> I'm fucking ride you around like you a hostage now. Shit, man, be real nice if you could leave something. All right, slow down. I kill me and you if you. All right, bro. Here go twenty dollars. I, I can I leave it while we still riding? As soon as I got out the car, I took that shit back. Boy, you get five and a bad review. You almost killed me. That's, that's cold. The Uber people don't make no money. The Uber eats. Who else? What's the other gig shit? DoorDash? They, they don't make no money? Is there anybody making money doing this shit? Like, you know how motherfuckers, like, the one kid that's selling all the candy for the fundraiser? Is it like a DoorDash millionaire? 
He ain't got no YouTube. Let me show you. I deliver 30 things at once. <laughs> this motherfucker dropped the shit out the car. That's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. Ain't no more regular jobs either. What's the jobs we got? We got factory jobs still? Cars? What else we make? We don't make shit no more. That's why the Rust Belt, all them cities, Detroit, the Midwest, is, 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 is bad. That's when black people had money when they had them good jobs. That was, that was the shit. You heard that shit at the barbecue? You know he got him a good job. <laughs> he got him a good job with benefits. A good job with benefits? That was money back then for us. For real. Shout out my family. In Pensacola, they had the, the, one of the first phones. It was only a few phones. My granddaddy had a phone. The school would come to his house to use the phone. Other people had to come to the house to use the phone. Only reason he had a phone because he worked for the railroad. He had a good job. And the railroad bench, you had to have a goddamn phone because they could call you to work any motherfucking time. That's crazy. On call. This had to be like the 40s. When the phone came out? 30s? You used to have to call the little bitch, and she'd be on the thing like this. Hello? Who can I connect you to? Huh? Oh, shit, the phone been... I, I was tripping. I did the 19 with phone been out. <laughs> for the mat. For the mat, so it was just for, 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 for rich, rich... The, the, the aristocrats. 1849? So they hooked them up. In 1870. But it was just rich motherfuckers. Yeah, and they plug you in. Right. So it was probably just the king and the little... calling the little whorehouse, hello. <laughs> May I speak to Mademoiselle Eleanor? <laughs> hello, I'll be coming over soon. Make sure you wear no pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> but then when we get it, I don't know, I gotta ask my pops when, when that was in Pensacola, we had the first little phone in the hood or the area where black folks was at. Black folks always had some money low key though. Every period. Throughout history, they don't want you to know that. Mansa Musa, the richest, you know, but I heard some questionable stuff. I heard he might have had some slaves, too. And, I mean, that sound about right. If you had a billion dollars back then, it's, it's just... Some people you might not be able to get rid of. They living off the crumbs that fall off your plate in real life. Motherfucker dropped enough money to fuck up an economy. That was BMF shit. Back then. Was the hair lady, Madam C.J. Walker. Come on, man. Come on. She came out. She was, what was my man, Jack Johnson? The boxer? Oh, he was branded up. They were mad. Boy, they was mad. Like, they didn't let us play sports with them for a while after that. And he, and he, was, he was fond of the, uh, the snow bunnies. I would like to know what Dr. Umar take would be on. Jack Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Cause he, cause he had, you know, they, they came up with the, with the human trafficking. That came because of him. He was taking white women out of town. They was prostitutes and stuff, and you know, no Diddy, no Diddy. They they wanted, they wanted to go, and I'm, I'm for sure he wasn't putting his hands on them, cause. He a real live, you know what I'm saying? That's back when they used to fight. That's, that's before, see, black people, we came with the dodger. Because you're not just going to hit us. White men came with. <laughs> this, this was, they, this was, they, this was, you're not a man if you don't fight with your face. Like, they like to, like, block a punch with. <laughs> Pow! And they, and, and, 
They like to get beat to a pulp. They don't try to like black folk. They they they, they didn't like when we came in. Cause you ain't just gonna hit us. We flinching. We but hey, we finna buy, but we will listen. Money, gambling. A lot of y'all got gambling addictions, man. Listen, don't never gamble away your future or your family's future. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't got it to lose, you ain't got it to gamble. All right? Don't gamble with shit you don't have. And this is brought to you by Prize Picks. Right here. They want you to gamble responsibly. So if you ain't got no money, get your ass off their site. <laughs> Once we give you that little code, we're gonna give you the code, and you gonna get a little, you gonna get some money to go with the money you put, but. After that, if it's all gone, hey, man, better luck next time. But don't lose yourself in gambling. I don't know, sports gambling. These NBA players losing their mind. Gambling on they self to not be in the game. How you hurt yourself? What's that? Ain't that one of the porters? Well, Otto? John J. Porter. Come on, man. How much money did he get? He got him, like, I don't think it was enough to do it. A lot of these things, I'm just not seeing, man. I'm, are NBA players tricking off the money? Do they not have as much money as it would appear that they would have once they get out the league, trying to keep up their lifestyle? That's what it's looking like. The man lost money. You didn't win shit. You see how gambling trick you, though? He won 20000 <laughs> What? <laughs> he lost 60. What did you say? Bet 76. He bet 76. And won 200000 Are you saying... 21000 21,000, not 210,000. Hey, hey, uh, I don't know, but let me, is that how it work? <laughs> Did he get that and be like, boy, I'm up. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. Cause, okay, so he did some shit where if he didn't play in the game, it automatically get the over, right? So he prop bet crazy on himself. And nobody bets on him. <laughs> Cause don't nobody know. <laughs> like, like, so that that's that's what caught their attention. He he sparked some shit up because, hey man, what the hell going on? Okay, he, he learned. <laughs> he learned. He learned from that 70. He felt that 70. I don't know how much he was making a year, but that 70, that'll hit you. I don't care who you are now. That 70, you, you got to shake back. I need something right now. Ooh, so he put the 80 for the, for the 1 million. And that's the one that got him caught. So... <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, man. They, they, how they expect that? That's going to keep happening. Oh, they Pete Rose them. No, they let your boy rock. Shohei. Shohei, Shohei's story was the... No, Shohei, Shohei, boy, Shohei, you know English. Boy, Shohei, you know English. Your translator should have been back. That motherfucker came show and say, um. He started acting. <laughs> he started acting like an anime character, motherfucker. Say, hey, this is guy doing. <laughs> oh. If that's racist, I'd like to apologize in advance. I'd like to be able to continue to keep doing this. I love everybody. I talk, I talk shit, but everybody's included. You should know that by now. If you don't know that by now, and you just learning that. Well, damn it, this is the season finale. So, if you haven't learned by now, 
This is what it is, man. English majors. We come in here, come in the office, talk shit, smoke a few. Did we, oh, did we talk about that? Oh, shout out to everybody, entrepreneurs, black business. Support them, man. That shit not easy. That shit not easy. You think owning a business is just being a boss. No. You own a business, you basically creating a job for yourself. You got to work that motherfucker. Ain't nobody going to work it like you, especially to get that bitch off the ground. You ask any of these entrepreneurs, man. In comedy, you got to be your own brand. So, hey, work your shit. Get your ass out there. You want to make it work, work it. It take more than just the, the promotion. It take more than just the marketing. It take all that shit coming together. Take the leg work. If you selling plates, we need to see your house. Show your house. You selling plates? What the kitchen look like? No, it's too dark in your kitchen. You ain't got no light bulbs in your kitchen. I don't know how dirty it is in there, man. Listen, everybody can't do it. Everybody ain't able, but shout out to the people. That are. And everybody don't need to own a business. We don't need no more boutiques. Stop it with the boutiques. Because y'all selling all the same shit. At the end of the day. With that being said, go get that English majors merch. I don't give a damn if it's a Gildane on the tag or whatever. <laughs> Listen, man. Why you looking all in the shit? Take a motherfucker look at the shirt instead of putting it on. My tag got some little cool phrase on it. I forget. Where's my shit? We didn't bring them today. Oh, ain't the English majors, we got merch. Don't watch the second half of the season and think the merch ain't there. The merch is there. Show the merch. <laughs> <laughs> Money. That's how you get it. Get you some merch. But make sure you send it. It ain't no refunds. And if it smells like weed, it's supposed to. It's, it's hemp fabric. I wear every hoodie before I put it in a package. A little residue. Hey, man. It's summertime, man. You, you, I hope you're feeling like a winner, man. If you're not feeling like a winner, it might be because you're not on prize picks, man. Look, you got the MMA, PGA, MLB, WNBA, and you might even get in on the little slap boxing, you know what I'm saying, the ultimate slap. You know what I'm saying? Each day there's a chance for you to add more money to the bank. Go ahead, put your entries in. Put your initial deposit in. Prize picks is going to match it up to $100, man. All you got to do is register, deposit, and select more or less on two to six player stats like points, assists, rebounds, whatever. Potentially win up to 25 times your entry. And if it's your first time, like I said, they're going to match your initial deposit up to $100. It's available in over 30 states, man. Head to Prize Picks now and use promo code ENGLISHMAJOR. And tell them I sent you. So go right now. Download Prize Picks today and your daily fantasy sports experience Begins, man. Prize picks. Daily fantasy made easy. Oh, this year, everybody, hey, is, is, is get your money up. So if they owe you, go get it. Go get it. Federal government owe black schools like $2 billion too. HBCU. Get that money. Reparations, come on. We'll take it. We'll take it a different way. Just give us, like, every year just give us something free for the year. Black people ain't gotta pay for tires. <laughs> One whole year. All the goddamn cereal free for this year. Come on, man. Otherwise, we're gonna start going and looking at the companies that still profited off the bullshit. You don't want that. We know y'all trying to erase history as it is. Let's go. Office hours. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know how office hours work. This is your chance where you ask your questions. I give you the best advice that I could possibly give you, man. So, hey, we still talking about money, so these questions should reflect the topic. Right? We got people on point? 
Everybody, let's go. First question. Hey, okay, this is Tia from Raleigh, and she asked, what are your thoughts on joint accounts for couples? Are there scenarios where it does or doesn't make sense to you? Thanks, Tia from Raleigh. Um, what? <laughs> a joint account. Man, a joint account for me that, yeah, we, we, we share joints <laughs> out this little account. But you just got full access to my shit? No, ma'am. And I shouldn't have your little duck-off money. We, you know every woman got her little, you know what I'm saying? She got her little runoff money. They supposed to. If they learned anything, if they had an older woman in their life, tell her, hey, girl, you know you're supposed to get down. <laughs> you telling me it costs 100 when it really costs 60. You keep the 40. You put that in the little runoff money in case, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'll, I think joint accounts, the scenario will probably have to be like y'all in business and like y'all really, like y'all built this business from the ground up. But even then, that shit be looking ugly too when it go bad. What if they marry? Huh? What if they marry? That's who the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> you think it's just is sweet because they married? You know how many motherfuckers have woke up one day, this bitch ran off with my money. <laughs> We built this shit together. You know how many women that woke up? I know this motherfucker did. Don't think marriage stopped nothing, man. Y'all must think y'all got a, 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 a special ring. You got a Green Lantern ring. <laughs> Power ring. That's, that's not how it's gonna work, man. Uh, joint accounts, yeah, not, not for me, man. But maybe you have a, a okay. You have an account that y'all share for whatever fucking reason, but that's not never going to be the main account, nor should it. Especially if you got somebody like, your wife might, you know, she take care of the shit. She take care of the bills. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like shit to, to somewhat operate. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of be a house manager, too. That shit ain't... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to manage the house. My house ain't that big, but still, it's, it's shit. It need management. <laughs> That shit run. That shit, that shit, do you know if the shit break in your house, you got to fix it? It's on you. It's on you. You don't know how to fix it, so you got to call somebody to fix it that costs money just to come look at the shit to tell you how much it costs to do the shit that actually need to be done. <laughs> Boy, you know patience. I got to smoke weed before I call any maintenance person. <laughs> Because I don't want to let them out my house after paying the money and they don't do shit. And sometimes it'll be brief. It'll be brief. I know it's $89 for him to come out here. He come in there and be like, yeah, it's probably going to cost us probably about $3,000. I said, get the fuck out right now. I said, motherfucker, you could have wrote that shit down and hopped in the car and drove off and said, don't open it till I leave. <laughs> Now, I'm going to let you out of this motherfucker this time. <laughs> but you ever come in here with that bullshit? Man, hey. <laughs> had to pay him to tell me I owe some more. No. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the only time I can see a joint account. All right, what else we got? Let's see. Chuck, my dog Chuck. Collie Park, okay, let's go. Clayton, okay, look, bro, my cousin owe me $1,000, and that's my dog. I stay seeing him flex on the gram and putting on for his little hoes. <laughs> but I want my shit. How do I press this man to pay me back? Chuck from College Park. Chuck, unfortunately, <laughs> you ain't gonna get it back the way you want it. And, and this is just a life lesson. Don't lend it unless you got it to lose, right? If you really need that thousand dollars, then this is a $1,000 lesson, and you know <laughs> not to fuck with your cousin no more like that. But the best way for you to get it back in some capacity is find out wherever he is, wherever he's going. <laughs> like, if he go to the club and he in VIP, you go in there and, and you drink all the liquor <laughs> by yourself. And you look him in the eye while you do it, too. <laughs> And then when you put the ball down, you'd be like, you know what this is about. 
<laughs> and then you call the Uber and you go home safely, but you keep popping up on them until you get it back. It's your cousin. You ain't got to get it back in blood, but get it back in fun. Every time he out having a ball, show up. Start ordering shit on his tab. Don't even let him know you're in there. That's what you do. That's the only way you're going to get it back, man. I mean, I, 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 I think you can confront him once, and you know he should be with it, but you know he's going to be with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He, he not go, here go that little funky thousand dollars, man. I wouldn't ask for it if I knew you was going to act like this. All right. Lucky, I, lucky, I don't have family like that, luckily. So that's a blessing, man. But yeah, that thousand dollars is gone, man. He spent that on the <laughs> shit. That that's <laughs> shit. That's two holes nowadays. The price went up. Them forty dollar days is over, man. Oh man, it's hey, five hundred just to talk. <laughs> Ain't that what they said? You know you can book a bitch for, for a walkthrough at your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they calling it now. I walk through that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How much it costs? And that's where your money went, brother. So, hey. Right. Next time you see it with some hoes, go pull up on them hoes. Them your hoes, too. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to them. <laughs> Talk to them. See what they say. All right. Clay, I know you went to school before. What the heck do we do about paying back these student loans? Sonny from Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I channel my inner old dirty bastard. They asked them, what are you going to do for the, for the community? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I'm not paying you. Facts. You shouldn't have gave it to me. Why would you give me that money, dog? I ain't, like, no. And you expect, no. Joe Biden forgiving everybody, right? He's supposed to. I don't know. Well, they been forgave me. Because I talked to the Lord. And his forgiveness is the only forgiveness I need. They called me about the shit. They said, you plan on paying this? I said, I have forgiveness. And they said, we don't see that <laughs> anywhere in the computer. And I said, I, well, I, I talked I talk to, to the man in charge. They said, you, you talked to my supervisor? I said, I talked to the supervisor, supervisor. <laughs> I went to the top of the food chain. And yeah. He said, he said, he said, now you know you wrong for taking them people money. And tricking off with them hoes. And you, you know you owe your cousin a thousand dollars. But <laughs> 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 I'ma let you ride this time. Forgiveness kicked in. So uh the student loans, just pay back a little bit, man. Always reduce it. Pay the minimum. If you can't pay it, what they gonna do? Take it out your check? They might. <laughs> you might. <laughs> Don't let it never get there. Don't never let it get to that. Well, you scared to get paid. You got to get paid in different ways. Look, man. Pay me in Dave and Buster's points. I'm going to go convert it to dollars when I get off. That's it's dangerous. Yeah, the best way to pay them is, is to not. <laughs> Tell them you ain't got it, man. Make your story sound good. I ain't never had it. I didn't have it then. I ain't get it now. What can you pay right now? I always say $5. It show you willing to work with them. What can I pay right now? $5 if I really, if I really get some overtime. <laughs> Don't tell them it's an easy five. You never made it. Yeah, I got that on me right now. You sound too eager. That's when they start docking your check. You know what? You, you're a smart ass. Oh. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Did I pay my student loans? Yes, eventually. Some of them. 
They owe me. <laughs> you know who the shit I brought to the table? <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right, let's go. What we got? Odds are presented by Prospects. Okay, mm -hmm. odds are. Right now, there are no black people on U.S. currency. There have been plans to change the $20 bill to feature Harriet Tubman by 2030. All right. Do you think this will happen before or after 2030? Yeah, man, let's get on there, man. More I don't know. Less. I don't really know the significance of it. I just want them. I want a dumb do a check of Harriet's. <laughs> I don't want old face Harriet. I'm sorry. It's only one face. No. I want young Harriet. Show her when she was bad. <laughs> I, don't, I want her without the do-rag. <laughs> you know, we always see her. She... <laughs> she's serious. She was serious. Come on, man. Said she invented hush puppies to make the dog shut up. Somebody said she knew how to punch a baby and knock it out what? peacefully. <laughs> man, you ever heard these what? tales? No. No. Y'all got to do your Harriet research, man. They said Harriet was known to, to knock a baby out. I'm sure they exaggerated, but she probably put, she probably do a little herb or something. You rub it in the baby face and the baby just, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, Harriet, Harriet. You know, and Harriet probably, she ain't, she ain't had time. You know what I'm saying? She ain't had time to do it gently, so she probably just shoved it in the baby's face. Oh, she punched the baby. She knocked the baby out. She punched the baby. And that's how the story grew. That probably ain't what happened. <laughs> Come on, man. I told you. But you know how black people are. She knocked the baby out. <laughs> I said, Harriet, how we know which way to go? And she said, I'm following the motherfucking star. Shut that baby up, or I will. <laughs> Man, she came back there and slapped them herbs in that baby face. <laughs> baby eyes rolled back. He went straight to snoring. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life. <laughs> baby woke up cold. What happened? And they lying to the baby. You know, Harriet punched you when you was a baby. <laughs> you know, Harriet, that's your great grandmother. She, she you, you, your God, but she punched you in your shit now. <laughs> that, like, did I not call it? I didn't know that. Off, like, I just do the math on stuff. You understand? <laughs> Chat GPT is me. You understand? Because I used to have to Google everything for my mama before Google with the encyclopedia. I had to look that shit up. What that word mean? You don't know. All right. That's all I can say. We did that. What's that? Carry the one, subtract that, square root. We back, man. Listen. You want investment tips? This ain't that show. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to spend some goddamn money, put that merch up again. Where is it? Right there, yeah. Hey, man, hey, this has been better than amazing. I thank 85 South for letting me do this when nobody was looking. And <laughs> we snuck off and shot all these episodes and the amazing crew that helped make this possible. You know what? Look, man, everybody in here, I want y'all to get some money. I'm not going to give it to you. Okay? But... We gonna get some money together. It's just not gonna come from me. We gonna do it like the church. I'm gonna watch. I'm the money overseer. What's that shit, a susu? What was the shit the people was doing? The little scams, the little pyramid schemes. Remember, you it's your turn to get money when? <laughs> Forex, that's what they was doing? So everybody put in some money, and then the circle go around, and you get more people to put in money, and then you supposed to get. We talking about like the actual name. That's a real pyramid. Oh, Ponzi scheme. That's real. <laughs> I the best way to run a Ponzi scheme, man. Don't don't never just do no straight up Ponzi scheme. That's fucked up, man. Start you a cult. Yeah.
Start you a cult. That's how you do it. Friends helping friends. That sounds like some freaky shit. Friends helping friends. Susu, see? I know. It's a form of rotating savings and credit association, a type of informal savings club arrangement between a small group of people who take turns throwing hand in partners call it. So yeah, it started. Boy, that, do you see how it was a lot of words not to say shit? <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of words not to say shit. So it's a partner club independent of every, no. If you falling for that shit, man, grow up. Let's go, man. Get you some money. Keep you some money. Don't just save it. Don't let it rot under the mattress. Get you some active investments. And that's it, man. We out of here. First season. Done. Boy, English majors. Y'all rock with me the whole way, man. The English majors know who they are. They got me through the tough times. And, uh, you know, you an English major, too. If you learned anything, please, just start reading more books. Because this should not be where you learn shit from. <laughs> you didn't know that shit before? Please, just do a little read. Read the caption. Let ChatGPT read it to you. It can do that, too. All right. Money. Get you some.